Hi everybody, this is Marie. Bruce is holding down the fort with the dogs. Uh, today we're gonna do a special show and it's gonna be all on sterling silver spoon uh, rings. And uh, sterling, silver spoon, sterling silver spoons are very hard to find. They're pretty rare. Most of the, pat many of the patterns started production in the 1880s. So more, well more than a century ago. Uh, but very few uh, sterling silver spoons are still in production. They've pretty much uh, ceased production. So most of these are pretty old. Some of them may be as old um, as 100 years old, depending on the pattern. Um, but um, most of the patterns originated in the 1880s up to the 1970s. And that's kind of when they most of them quit producing. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to get started with some unusual ones. Uh, the first one on the agenda, we're going to do some state rings. Now, all of these rings we try to make in larger sizes, and then we can make them smaller for you. We can make them smaller. We can't make them bigger unless they're uh, a twist ring. So these are cuff rings, so they're not seams, so it's easier for us to make smaller. The first one is an Iowa ring, and like I said, all these are sterling silver. This one is a number 271. It is um, $42 and it's a size 10. So we can make it a, anywhere from a size 10 or smaller. So when I tell you the size, know that we can make it smaller unless it's a twist ring and then I can tell you that. Next up, we have a couple of Nebraska rings. Uh, number 272 is $42 and that is one style Nebraska ring. Uh, one time we were at a show and we had a guy come up to us and he was just absolutely fascinated with it. So he had to get one um, because he said there was so much history in this ring and he was kind of a Nebraska historian. He was absolutely fascinated with it. So that's one Nebraska ring. This is a different Nebraska ring. It's a little bit different style, but both of them are sterling silver. And, um, but all of them uh, show some history of the states. This one is $44 and it's a size nine and it's a wraparound ring so we can uh, make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. The next one up is a uh, Colorado ring. We don't have every state and I don't have every state out here today. I just picked some of them. Number 274 is $34 and it is a Colorado ring. This is a smaller ring so it's not quite so big um, in, in terms of the weight and size. Number 275 is, um, uh, no, this one's different. The state's here. It's a Missouri ring. So you can see a um, lot of history here. Quite a story it tells about Missouri. So this is Missouri. It's um, $40 and it's a size 11. And these can be men or women's rings. Next, we have a Florida ring. We got to have a Florida ring with a pill. Um, uh, Flamingo. Flamingo and some palm trees. And this does have a cutout here. Um, and this is uh, $34. It's size 10 and it's $275, uh, 276 Anyway, there's Florida. Because so I know we have a few people that live in Florida part of the year that watch this. So that, that one's for you to look at. Number 277 is, uh, number, is $36. It's a size 11, and this is a Statue of Liberty ring. Um, so it's a little bit different and a little bit different style. Next, we're gonna do some unusual, a couple unusual rings. Um, this one is a fork that we've made into a ring. And like I said, they're all sterling silver. It's number 278, it's $38, and it's a size nine. So, and it's a fork made less dangerous. Next, we have three rings, or we have a collection of set of rings. They're all different sizes. Uh, they run from, I think, a nine to 11. Anyway, they're all um, $35. And um, these are from an era when there was a lot of simple architecture, clean design lines. And these are really pretty old. So anyway, um, and on any of these patterns, if you want to know the pattern or any of the history, I have my sterling silver flatware book, and um, I can give you information on the name of it and approximately when it was first in production. So 
anyway if you'd like more information about uh, any ring i can get that for you so that was uh those are 279 next up is number two uh, uh number 280 and it's 46 dollars. i've got several of them i can tell you that i've seen these on etsy and other places for twice what we're selling them for more than twice what we're selling it for but we go by what we paid for it and we only buy where we can get good deals and we only buy from certain people so that we know we're going to get a good deal but this one's name is old colonial and the pattern i know originally was the middle 1880s when it came out so this is a heavier ring it's uh for somebody that likes a real solid ring and it is uh the runs from a size eight up to i believe the biggest size we've got is um a 10 um yeah up to a 10. And i might have some more of these spoons too some of these i still have spoons left so it's 46 dollars and like i said that's a big heavy big piece of sterling and uh looks like we one lost its way <laughs> next we have number 281 and this is a wraparound one. It's um, nine or forty-two dollars. It's a size nine. This is a small um, spoon, a demita spoon. We flattened the spoon bowl and uh, made it a wraparound ring. So something a little bit different. Next are a couple rings. They're both the same number, but um, we've got a little bit two different styles. So uh, it's number two eighty-two, and these are. Um, a little um, oriental um, spoons that we flattened and made into a ring. They both are a size 11. They run big because the fact that we can only wrap it so far and you lose the pattern. So this is somebody that wants a bigger ring. And we've got two different styles of um, spoon on there. And those are $42. Next up, we have another oriental ring. This is number 283. And it is $42 also. And this is one with a little uh, spoon bowl that, that didn't, wasn't as ornate. The other one has an ornate spoon bowl. This one is a plainer spoon bowl. And uh, this one is a size 8. So it's a little bit, quite a bit smaller. Next up, we have um, a ring that is number 284. It's $38 size 11 this is a style of ring that is much older and it's a thinner ring but it's got a unique style to it a very classic and beautiful style to it so if you like something different but not heavy this is a good ring next up is number 285 it's number 38 and this is a size upside down nine and this is an again wrap around so you can change it this is a smaller ring this is originally i think a, um, a sugar spoon ring or a demita spoon ring we try to buy some of the smaller rings because they smaller spoons because they really do make good jewelry so anyway that is there I'm trying to make sure i get through all of them because i have two big trays of them so i got 40 40 different styles of rings today. And this is not all of them. These are, I picked out the ones a day that did not have um, initials on them. They might have on the inside, but not on the top of the ring. So we have other styles that have initials on them. This again is a more classic time um, with a not uh, the so much the flower design. It's a more classic design. There's a little bit of flower, but it's more classic. Clean lines and number 286. And this is $36, and it's a size 10. Next up is uh, number 289. This is a size 8. It's $32. This is a nice, clean, uh, sculptured line and uh, without much uh, decoration or innate. Um, some people like very plain sterling silver spoon rings, and so this would be a good one. And like I said, we can change the sizes for anybody. We can make them smaller. We can't make them bigger unless they're the wraparound. Next up is number 288. It's $36. It's a size 9. And this is a nice classic style um, 
um, pattern and uh, very smooth and light. It's not real thick, so it's not quite so heavy as some other rings are. I have to tell you, though, if the ring fits right, the weight won't bother you so much. Uh, number um, 289 is $36. It's a size 9, and this, again, is a, a uh, thinner, less heavy ring with very sculptured classic styles. It's similar to this other ring, but they're a little bit different. Next up is number 290, and it's $36, size 9. And this, again, is a classic, lighter weight um, uh, ring. And it's different because the, size, the pattern is the same. It just changes down towards the end. So you get the front part, the pattern's all the same. Now, when I wear a sterling silver spoon ring, I like to wear the pattern so it's on the outside of my finger if I wear it on my second finger. I like to wear them on my second and third fingers. But, um, but wherever I wear it, whether it's a little finger or a end finger, I like to wear with the end of the spoon where the, the beautiful pattern's at is right here, and then you can see the end of the spoon too. So that's the way I like to wear them. All right, let's go to the next tray. Next tray are the ones that are um, a lot of unique and um, um, floral-type patterns. Okay, this next one was a set of, of uh, Demitas spoons we got, and we didn't even realize it until we got home that, I don't know if you can see it, but this pattern is like a... Um, um, let's see if you can, I can show it here so you can see it. It's like a fairy, and then her tail wraps down around the end. And um, these are pretty old pattern, but I thought it was really very cool with with that pattern with uh, the fairy or the goddess and then the wrap around, it's not tail, skirt, I guess you would say. Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful little ring. Um, it's $34. It's a size 9. You can wear it as a small ring on your finger, or you can wear it as a pinky ring. Um, it's one of the rings that if you can wear it on the outside, you can see the pattern better. So, very unique. Next up is uh, number 292, and that is $32, size 10. And this is a nice classic pattern, nice clean classic pattern. Uh, with nice flowing lines, really pretty. Next up is one that's pretty unique because it's got holes in it. Not too many spoons had holes in it so you can see through it. These are also harder to work with too because you're bending something with a hole in it. So when you see these, you know that they're not real common. Number 293 and it's $36 and this is a size 10. And uh, it's a really pretty floral leaf pattern. And... Uh, with nice little holes in it. So if you have nice tan fingers, that would look real pretty there, unlike my nice white fingers. Okay, next up is number 294. Uh, it's $36. It's a size 8. This is a nice classic pattern, too, here. And it's nice they didn't put their initials on or their name because a lot of patterns like this, people like to stamp their name on it. Some people have differing opinions about wearing something with initials on. So... Um, I always think that meant that the, the kind of there's a little history there, and it might when you wear it, you might wonder about the person that 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 had the silverware. And most times, the initials of the on their uh, spoon were the initials of the lady of the house. So anyway, this is a pretty nice, pretty simple, uh, lightweight ring. Next up is a um, uh, grape ring, number two ninety five. This is $34, it's size 9. These great pattern rings are a little harder to find. And um, uh, they're, they're uh, kind of get scooped up fast. You can see the grapevine pattern is all the way around. So anyway, that's uh, number 295. Next up is a um, um, oak. Uh, I always call it an oak leaf pattern. I can't remember what the name of it is, but um, I have... You know, there's so many spoon patterns that when when we're between shows and we miss all our spring shows, I don't even remember the names of the patterns. It kind of had like you have to keep it fresh to remember it. Number 296, and this is um, 
$36. This is size 9, and I do have more of these, so I can duplicate it. But I love this little notch here. And I'm not sure. I think that's a flower, but I always think it reminds me kind of like a leaf. But it's actually a floral pattern that comes all the way down here. But it's a very simple, beautiful, flowing um, leaf pattern, flower pattern. Next up is one of my favorites and really hard to find. It's number 297. We've got a, um, with two different numbers on it. One is smaller and one is uh, bigger uh, size uh, spoon. This is $36. Originally was a little Dimitas spoon. It's a, a six and a half, size six and a half uh, ring. And this is one that you could wear on your pinky finger. Or if you have little fingers, it would work well. And there's a number of patterns like this that are very, that have a pattern all the way across the spoon and uh, a solid pattern. And they, there's all different names. Um, but um, these are very, very beautiful and collectible. I just love these. Now, um, the next one is a similar pattern, but you can see it's different because there are different patterns in, in uh, that they make in these solid rings. So... Anyway, that's the first one. The little one's two ninety seven. The big one is um, two ninety eight, and it is uh, forty two dollars. And it's a size nine, and it's very smooth inside um, because the pattern is um, solid on the outside but smooth on the inside. Some uh, this one has the little one has somebody's initials in. Some of the spoon patterns have a design on the inside of the spoon as well as the um, the top of the spoon. So it makes it really, sometimes they're really unique, but this one's very smooth and very soft. Uh, when we make the rings, we try to smooth down the inside a little bit uh, so there are no sharp edges, because sometimes you get some sharp edges, sharp edges when you're bending it. So anyway, there is a really pretty uh, ring. That's number 298, and it's been a very popular ring. Next up is probably one of the more collectible and more popular and harder to find. It's number two ninety nine. It's number forty. It's forty four dollars. This is a size eleven. This is the Lily of the Valley pattern, and I. It's hard to find them, and it's hard to keep them in stock. They get sold very quickly. We probably only have it because of the fact we didn't do any spring shows. They all got cancer because of the virus. But this is a Beautiful, beautiful um, Lily of the Van Valley pattern. Very, very appropriate for spring, but beautiful all year round. But uh, anyway, and it's a, a lighter weight, uh, so it's not a heavy ring, but very pretty. Next up, I've got a couple of these that are the same, so the same number, number 300. And this is $38. One is size nine, and the other is, I think, a size nine too. Yep. And this is a, a pattern that's a little bit different and it's a kind of a classic style in a lot of ways except the way the notches are at the top the scallop at the top so anyway very pretty flower pattern make sure I get there we go next up is number 301 and this is $38 and this is a size eight and a half and this, I absolutely love this pattern. I, my most favorite patterns are the ones that kind of have kind of a wavy or a, a lot of movement to it. And this one has a lot of movement with the, the kind of flowing lines over the top, flower type flowing lines. But this one is so beautiful. I just love this ring. Um, so pretty. And these make just absolutely the nicest rings. Anyway, that one is th number 301 and $38. And it's a good price because it's a really unusual, hard to find ring. Next, number 302 is $38. It's a size, it's a size nine and a half. This is a more classic style with the three flowers across the top. You'll notice that many times that when people design things, um, the balance is always better when it's an odd number. So you'll see patterns of three a lot in the rings, a repeat of three or five. So you see three here and then two more, so five. But um, that flows better uh, for your eyes. 
and uh, just makes for better design. So this is very pretty, very consistent pattern on the uh, the ring, and um, so again, it's number three hundred two. Next up is a really pretty ring too. This is three hundred three. This is forty four dollars, and uh, it's just the scallop is different on this. Again, you've got the three um uh, ring uh flowers at the top and then you see the bouquet going down you don't see the flowers repeated you see all leaves anyway and and you can see look at the beautiful pattern on the inside and like i said we always smooth it so it's not uh nothing scratchy there but that's a unique pattern very pretty pattern next up is a more classic design it's uh third number 304 it's $38, and it's a size 11. This is a more classic design with the scallop or the wave-like pattern. I always love that pattern. I love the wave, and I love the scallopy look. And this one is just flows beautifully. Oh, I guess I did miss that. It does have a little initial R. Um, this here has kind of the shell pattern around it, um, which makes for a really pretty design on a bracelet. But the R is very faint. It's off the side, so it's not as noticeable. Number 305 is $42. It's a size 9. And again, here you have another three-flower pattern, but this has got a different type of scallop at the top. And uh, then flowers down around the side. This is a great one for wearing um, on outside ring. So you can really see that pattern good. Next up is number 306. It's $40. It's a size 8. And this, again, is another flower pattern. Um, kind of like a trumpeter vine pattern, but I can't remember the name of this. I don't think it's Morning Glory, but look at how those leaves get incorporated into that design so well. The leaves just really flow into the design, and it's very different the way those leaves are are designed in there because the leaves become the whole ring. They're not on the ring, but they are the ring, which is very different. And then you can see pattern inside, but the pattern inside is different than the pattern on the top, which is really cool. Next up is number 307, and it's $38. It's a size nine and a half. And this is kind of an interesting combination of a classic style with the scallopy edges and then three flowers in the middle. Again, there's that three pattern. And there's three pattern again. So um, very well designed, very beautiful ring. And uh, again, a scallop in, uh, design inside. And the design inside is different than the design on the top. So it's really kind of cool. It's kind of like your secret place. Next up is one of my favorite patterns that I can never remember the name of it. But I've got two of them. And they're wraparound rings. And they do have a... Um, one has... No, I guess they both have uh, initials on, on it. But you may not even see it because of the way it sits. Uh, initials are MJ. Um, this is a ring. Oh, this is... My fingers are too fat for that one. Wear it this way. You can wear it like this. Which I love that. Oh, I just love that. Scallopy shell type pattern on that. Just love it. Or you can wear it like this. And so you get like a different style either way. If you wear it on your outside finger, you get a lot of... Uh, your second finger get a lot of pattern there, but I absolutely love this. We got a set of these. I think we got six of them, three or six. We got a, several of them, so we were lucky to get this. Really kind of hard to come by, but I just absolutely love that pattern. We do have a ring similar to it that's not a wraparound, so if you're interested in something that's not a wraparound, you can let me know too. Again, that's $38, and we do, oh, this little one here is a 308, but it's the small one. This one is a size seven. That's for the skinny fingers, of which I do not have any. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's not destroy the place here. <laughs> anyway, um, that's for little fingers. Or probably normal size, which my hands are not. Okay, <laughs> that was um, 308. 
Nexus 309. And the last, this one and the next one are the same pattern, but one is a different size than the other. And I think this is called Orange Blossom. The bigger one's got a little bit more design to it. Um, but I think this one's called Orange Blossom. It's 309 is $34, and this one's size 10. Uh, very pretty design um, where the flower becomes the scallop. And uh, the last one is the bigger style of it, so it looks more distinctive. It almost looks some, some ways like a different ring, but it's really, um, this was um, like, that was, the bigger one was like a small spoon, and this was like a bigger piece of silverware. And um, this one does have some initials, and they're just hard to read because they use a old scallopy type of font. So uh, it's really hard to read, and you usually don't see it because of the way the ring is. But uh, very pretty ring. The bigger one is $34, and it's a size 8.5. So that's our show for today. I hope you enjoy it. A little trip down memory lane with some silverware, uh, spoons, some uh, sterling. They're all sterling silver today. We do have silver plated. Those are all $20, and we have all different patterns. But um, we've got a bazillion of those. But the sterling silver are really special. That's why I'm doing the show today. And um, the sterling silver is, um, um, like I said, a trip trip down memory lane to Grandma's house because um, many of us are old enough to remember when we go to Grandma's house and she'd get out our, her sterling silver silverware for special occasions, and that's what we would eat on. And... Uh, and then we are told that you, you have to couldn't get salt on it. You need to keep it nice. And then it's harder to clean. And then you have to polish it. Well, this way you get to wear it. And uh, and water won't hurt it. You can wash your hands with this on. A little, um, a little Dawn dishwashing soap and water won't hurt it. Uh, but I do give polishing cloth samples with all my sterling silver or gold jewelry. So um, you can polish it up nice and... Um, it's it's not hard to do. It's not hard to keep these clean. So anyway, have a good week. Stay safe. Stay well. Again, this is how to contact us. Um, this is the best thing to do is message me through um, Facebook um, or call if you uh, would like more information. Have a good week. Stay safe. Um, have a good holiday weekend. If you're out camping, enjoy it for us because we won't be. Uh, one of these days we might get out to a campground. I can hardly wait. So thank you so much, and um, uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.